And one thing I notice about kings is that good fruiting years, they end up fruiting in threes, and in bad years, you'll just have a single fruit. You'll just have one, and that's all. So you start saying three at a time, you can be expecting it's probably going to be a good year for them if it's wet enough. Birds. If you were going to eat that right away, you could. Just a little extra protein, but... Bugs. Well, that's a good looking one. Yeah. Nice king right there. A little slug bitten on the top. Not bad. Meaty. Let's see if there's any buggies. Oh, buggies. Wow, they destroyed this. That's too bad. That's a good looking one. Yeah. See all the bugs? They get to it fast. As you can see, the pores, they're greeny. The top, that's a king. If I was hungry right now, I'd eat that. But I'm just gonna let it spread the spore. Absolutely beautiful. See that reticulation up at the top? That's that's just gorgeous. A little bit eaten, but yeah. Yeah, those those are bug free. I can feel that. Awesome. So they're all cleaned up. Absolutely gorgeous. So sometimes these porcini, when they're in the shade, like this one tucked right up against this conifer here, the top gets really light. Like that. That's still bun top though. You can see they actually look quite different than a lot of the other mushrooms. See that light reticulation? And it's red because it's moist. Got moist up underneath here and never dried out. Hmm. Gonna be some bugs in it though. I can feel it. Yeah, see? Bugs. You can tell by squeezing the stem, because it should be dense. And it's, if it's not firm and dense, then then there's going to be bugs in it. That's all right. See? Not too much in there. Not too much in the cap. Definitely eat it. Not going to consume it. Is there enough out here? Ah! I just had my first moment of the year. Get off of there. That is first sign of hen of the woods. I've checked all my trees. And that is your first little nibblings. Right there. That little baby. In a week, it will be from there to there. 
if no one takes it. People love their hens. And it's easy to just find big trees. That is one pretty little hedgehog. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, oh wow. Wow, look at that. Awesome. See the color differences on the Ignicolor? Hey. Beautiful. the rest grow you're being called buddy wrong way that's a real foraging dog right there you'd rather come forage with me than go walking with his owner <laughs> go on back buddy you're being called go on So even though you walk up and sometimes it might be just jack-o'-lanterns if it's only a jack and you're disappointed just check down the tree it's a little fast prime Beautiful. That's actually really good. Just waterlogged. I'll probably take a couple of the bottom ones. Yeah, I'll just take a little off the edge here. You still see it's still juicy. And the pores are still tiny. I'll just take a little bit. Looks good. Yeah, I could use that for something. Got jacks all around that tree back there. And the same tree.
wow. Well, those are beautiful. All right, y'all. Some honeys. Already getting gnawed on. Little tiny baby honeys. Little babies. Little babies. Yeah, that's a honey mushroom. Oh well. Yeah. Going on a big old oak. Nice. 